Dear brothers and sisters, today I want to share with you a story that we could truly define as extraordinary. It is the story of Sister Anna Ali, a Kenyan nun who has had unique and profound experiences. Sister Anna claimed to have had visions of Jesus for years, and in one of these, following the indications of the local church, she documented the apparition by taking a photo of Jesus Christ. This is truly a unique story, but let's try to understand together what happened and what kind of phenomenon it is. Before starting, I remind you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos and join the community of faith and prayer. Anna Ali was born in 1966 in Kenya from a family of mixed faith from a Catholic mother and a Muslim father. For this reason, she received the sacrament of baptism only in 1979 at the age of 13. From an early age, she suffered from various health problems, which caused her to bleed from her hands and feet. Despite her precarious health, Anna has always wanted to consecrate herself as a religious since her school days, but she kept this desire to herself because she feared that her conditions were not compatible with the consecrated life. Everything changes when in 1983 she meets Archbishop Emmanuel Nalingo, a leading figure in the Catholic Church, who, however, has shown highly controversial behavior over the years to the point of being dismissed from the clerical state. Father Gabriel Amorth, the most important Italian exorcist, said about Nalingo that over the years he had been brainwashed by a religious sect, turning away from the faith. However, after meeting Archbishop Nalingo, Sister Anna claims that she was miraculously healed by his prayers, and this prompted her to become religious. Thus, she joins the Daughters of Jesus, an order founded by Cardinal Milingo. But it was in August 1987 that Sister Anna's life changed forever. The nun recounts having mystical experiences in which she saw Jesus appearing to her and giving her important messages. The apparitions were constant over time, usually taking place once a week, and during these apparitions, Jesus shared with the young nun his anguish for the continuous sin of men and asked her for prayers and expiations for the sins of churchmen. On the day of the Corpus Domini Feast of 1988, he presented himself to Sister Anna Ali in tears of blood. In the sister's words, Jesus came with his light. He was enveloped in light, which was the same color as the sky when it is deep blue. His presence lit up the whole room, dark and shiny. The numerous apparitions and prophecies that Sister Anna said she learned from Jesus seem more or less to recall the prophecies of Fatima and La Salette. Jesus tries to warn humanity of a terrible event that could soon occur, and he does so by remembering the pain he feels every time he is insulted, denied, and betrayed. But he does not forget to remember the deep love that despite everything he feels for us, and his desire to save all of humanity. What the nun reports about her encounters with Jesus seems more or less to repeat what we know today of the various Marian prophecies. It is also true that the nun's words and messages may not fully convince, however, it is important to note that the concepts she expresses, even if expressed in simple language, may be too complex for her low level of education. Her mystical experiences have been the subject of attention from the church, which has decided to start investigating these events. When asked to describe an encounter with Jesus, she replied with these words. Jesus has a voice full of pity. It is sad, but his is a sadness of love. Sometimes he cries tears of blood. The night appears to me, never the day, and during the apparition, he looks like a normal human being, but he is different. In front of his holiness, one feels miserable. He is a man of average height. It is not possible to describe it. In his presence, he falls silent. I felt lost. Since Sister Anna claims that Jesus appears to her as a normal human being, she was asked to photograph him, and apparently she actually managed to take a picture of him and handed it over to the authorities to allow them to study and analyze it. Dear brothers and sisters, undoubtedly all these events are exceptional. Obviously, we do not have the possibility to express an opinion on the veracity of the photo. As for the very numerous messages that the sister reports, in general, they seem to prophesy an imminent catastrophic event and a deep pain that Jesus feels towards those priests who do not respect and love him. It must be said that Sister Anna, according to Malingo's own words, 
had somehow been taken under his protection, and this very aspect did not help to give credibility to the apparitions, especially after 2006 when Monsignor Malingo definitively left the church, getting married and starting a personal campaign for the abolition of ecclesiastical celibacy. As mentioned, the figure of Cardinal Malingo is highly controversial, and at the moment, a lawsuit for excommunication by the Vatican is also underway. Despite these shadows on the history of these apparitions, the messages of Jesus written by the nun have been collected in a book that has also achieved some success. Dear brothers and sisters, we do not know if Sister Anna really met Jesus. Surely there are unclear points in this story that could make this whole story unconvincing. Apparently, the photo of Jesus really exists and was shown during a conference held by Sister Anna herself with Melingo. But as we often repeat, true faith does not need extraordinary events to be nourished. It is true that prodigious events have occurred over the years, but we must always consider these events as signs that can in some cases strengthen faith, but never be its foundation. Let us know what you think of this incredible story, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos and be part of the community of faith and prayer. God bless you.